So the next problem is construct an ellipse when the major axis is 120 mm and the distance between the foci is 108 mm. Also determine the length of the minor axis. Okay, which method is to be used here? It is intersecting arcs or arc of circles or foci method is to be used here. So to do that, what information we have? We have the information about the major axis and the distance between the foci. Let us draw the major axis first. Major axis distance is given how much? 120 mm. So somewhere here I am taking a point and let us take this distance with a black color I will try to draw. Say this distance I am doing 120 mm. Okay. You can give some name here. Let us say this first point is A and second point is so AB is the major axis that we have. Next, what are other information we have? We have the distance between the foci is available. What is that distance? That distance is given 54 mm. No doubt this major axis whatever it is will have a center how to find out the center of this major axis to find out the center of this major axis we can bisect this line ab you know how to bisect the line ab you can take the compass and take a dis uh, distance more than approximately half of this uh, line ab more than half of this line AB and draw arc on both sides. Right, you have to draw arc on both the side. I am trying to draw it. So I will use here a different color for this purpose. Okay, with the same radius you draw arc on the other side also. Okay, just uh, this is going upside, no problem. Mm. Now don't change the radius. Uh, move the compass at point B. And then draw the arc once again on both sides. Wherever they are intersecting, join that intersecting point, that will be the perpendicular. And at the same time, I am drawing the perpendicular bisector also. So, this is our perpendicular bisector. Okay, it is dividing this line AB into two equal parts. I just want to confirm, so I am checking it okay so you can do it fine if you are not convinced you can check with the help of scale just check whether it is bisected or not okay mostly it is bisected into two equal parts now in our question what is given given the distance between the foci is 108 mm if distance between the foci is 108 mm that means half distance from the center if i can measure half distance from the center that will give me the location of one side foci and half other will give me the location of another side foci so if the total distance is 108 mm then what is the half distance half distance from the center o will be 54 mm on either side left side also i have to take 54 mm right side also i have to take 54 mm. i can use the scale also or i can use the compass with the help of compass also we can take 54 mm and we can it so to do that if we, i want to use the compass then what i have to do i have to draw a line here for a distance of 54 mm right this is a 54 mm long length line I have drawn now you take the compass 
that will give you much better way of and that is the actual way of uh, drawing the line so let us use it just let me adjust it move it at this position measure this adjust it okay 54 mm now move it bring it here at the center okay and draw in this side similarly rotate and draw on the other side so what we got we got the focus two focus point we got here let us uh, give their name as f1 and f2 each so let us say this is f1 and the other one is f2. so only this much information available to us in the question what was given in the question distance of the major axis given and the distance between the foci is given so distance between the foci that i have drawn so of1 is also 54 mm and of2 is also 54 mm now what i will do i will divide this f1 f2 into some equal number of parts so that i can later on i can draw a smooth curve around 10 number of equal 10 equal number of parts i can do or i can uh, make less than that also that's not a problem okay approximately not so like the fixed value we have to use approximately we can divide it into uh, around 10 number of equal parts okay fine so in place of this color i will take a different color here mm, draw it okay move some equal number of part i am doing okay so something i have done some equal number of parts i have done you can give their name start from say one two three like that you can give just for example i will give one or two names so i have given this point name as one and then second point name two give some name three four, four. 5 6 7 8 9 10 here 11 division is here so it's got okay now what i have to do i have to make f1 as the center and a1 as the radius again i am saying f1 as the center a1 as the radius draw two arc on either side of line ab 
got it so what i will do i will try to make this a1 as the radius okay adjust it so this is you mean a1 as the radius now move it at point f a1 as the radius f1 as the center draw true arc on either side of line ab okay i'll rotate little bit and then i will draw arc on this side and with the same configuration you will draw arc on the other side also okay now what we'll do you move it you move it at point b fine now take b1 as the radius take b1 as the radius f2 as the center f2 as the center and draw arc on either side this side and same way draw arc on other side okay it is intersected you can give some name of the intersecting if you say this point is p1 then the other point will be p1 dashed let us say the name of this point is p1 and the other side it is p11 okay or p1 dash whatever now same process will follow for the other one also what i will do again i will move it at point b now adjust and get the radius of f okay and move it again at point f2 now draw arc on either side once again draw arc this side similarly draw arc on other side also okay i'll i'll complete this part first and then i'll come to the other side again what i will do i'll adjust and take the b3 as the radius okay and move it to f2 and again draw arc on either side let me reduce the size draw arc on this side and similarly draw arc on other side okay again you move at point b then take b4 as the radius fine then again move to f2 so are you getting the process rotate it this side and draw arc similarly on the bottom side also we'll draw the arc in the next step take it to again f2 now radius will be what b5 will be the radius move it to f2 rotate it little bit on the top side draw arc bring it to bottom side draw arc and same steps again take back to f2 Oh, sorry point b now b6 as the radius okay 
move it to at point F2. Now rotate little bit on top side. Draw arc. Bring it on bottom side. Draw arc. Move back at point B. Now what is to be done? B7. B7 as the radius. Move it to F2. Rotate on top side little bit. Draw arc. Rotate on bottom side. Draw arc. Why I am doing? I am doing it at a side. Then I will draw the other side, and then I will complete the remaining part. Okay, you need to remember the that which one is what. Then B8. Fine. B8 again move on the same position. Then rotate. Draw arc. Rotate. Draw arc. Move at point B. Now B9. B9. Move. Rotate. Draw arc. Rotate. Draw arc. Same process. I am repeating again and again. Again move at B. Now B10. Now B10 here. Target point. Then move it. Then rotate it. Uh, draw here this side. And draw on the top side also. Okay, now last point. Move it to B. Adjust for element point. I've done it. Then move it here. Okay. Draw arc this side. Rotate and draw arc on the other side. So this side arc drawing is complete. Now I will move it to the other side. First what I did A1 I have done. Now I will do it for A2. This is A2. Now move at F1. Draw arc on either side. Draw arc this side. Then rotate it and draw arc. You have to see that it is properly intersecting the appro appropriate arc because this line I have taken with the help of point 2. So point 2. Okay, then again you move it to a then your uh, arc will be for point number three okay then move it at f1 draw arc on either side it is not intercepted anyway I, I have to adjust it and draw arc on this side fine now move to again point a now what will be the R4 okay point number 4 then move then rotate draw R rotate draw R we have to see the intersecting point move Again the original A point I got it. Now my target point is 5. 
I got it. Now move at F1 and draw the intersecting point. And on this side, similarly rotate it and draw it. Okay, again move. Now adjust for number six. Okay, move. Draw this side. Draw on the other side. Move. Okay, adjust. Adjustment is done. Move. So number seven. This is number seven. And rotate. I got number seven. Point move. Now number eight. Okay. Move. Draw. Rotate and draw. Next will be number nine. Adjust. Adjustment is done. Small issues may be there because of uh, inaccuracy in my drawing, but otherwise the process is same. Okay, you just refer to the process and do practice, you can easily do by yourself. Then number 10. Okay. Number 10. Move. Then draw. This is number 10. Somehow it is messed. Drop it. Okay, then last. Next is the eleven. Eleven more. Okay. And then draw. Rotate. So where that intersecting point was missing in two point there was mismatch of intersecting point. So let me uh, compare that two point again. Move at point. See what was that point number? One, two, three. Okay. So adjust measure. Third point, fine. Move it to F2. Okay. I rotate a little bit on top sides and draw it. Okay. So, third point is done. What are the other point? Uh, this one now. Uh, one, two, three, four, fifth point. So adjust at this point, then move it, okay, okay, so I think it is done, uh, all the points are intersecting point I got, all the intersecting point, now I have to connect it to connect it i will take this so how, how to connect it this point then p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 like that all the points are to be connected to this together i have not given the name no problem so first point let us take this point 
then the second point only on the intersecting point we have to mark it will draw it Anyway, I was supposed to use a different color. Okay. This is over. Leave it. Again, I will start from the beginning. First point. Second point. Third point. Four. Six, six, seven, eight, okay. Sometimes there may be some issue because of my inaccuracy in drawing, anyway, that is not a problem. Okay, so this is the ellipse that I wanted to draw. Okay, in this ellipse, what we got? The length of the major axis is given. How much? 120 mm. And distance between the focus are given. How much? 108 mm. Okay, so that already we have done and we have corrected it. Now, what was the next question next question was determine the length of the minor axis okay how to determine the length of the minor axis to do that just we will do a check first any already we have the minor axis but yet we will do what i will do i will take distance OA. What was that distance? Half of this distance. I will take distance OA. Then I will put this at point F2. Right? And I will mark on this side. Draw on this side. Similarly, I will draw on this side. then what i can do i can rotate it bring it at f1 the fixing of the instrument must be very perfect this side and let me wait on the other side okay almost our lines have also line has also gone through the same point right you see this is the center line almost center line it has gone through properly because of little bit inaccuracy in putting the compass so what we got that this line cd i can give a name of this line wherever it has intersected let us say this point is intersecting point is c and let us say the intersecting point here is d so whatever the cd we got this cd is the minor axis okay now you can measure the distance what will be the distance here you can measure it using the scale okay if i measure from this intersecting point to intersecting point here okay uh, around it 51 mm it is coming 52 mm okay it will be 50 or 51 mm if i draw it very precisely then probably it should be 50 mm okay by the calculation we can also find out that it should be 50 mm anyway my drawing was not that much precise so little bit errors are there but if we do it precisely then it should be 50 mm okay so this way you can find out what is the distance of the minor axis.
okay so this is the method called intersecting arcs or arc of circles or fossey method here we have used the fossey method and also arc where intersected these are the arc which are intersected okay and then that way we have drawn the ellipse so this is what is the method for construction of an ellipse using fossey method or arc of circle method or intersecting arcs method